So a lot of this book is about the internet. So it actually works really well for Zoom readings, I found. Um, so I want to start with one of those poems. Um, and it's called Anagnorisis, which I have to look up how to pronounce every time. But uh, anyway, it's the Greek word for the, um, the recognition scene. Anagnorisis. On the internet, it is easy to love you. On the internet, it is easy to love me. We let each other off the hook. We get to it when we can. We won't become known unless we tell our secrets, and we won't. Yet some days I feel recognized in the Greek sense. You know who I am, maybe even better. On the internet, there is a scene. I am a player and am found out. Recognition not only of a person, but of what a person stands for. What is the true nature of myself and my situation? Fortune, love, or knowledge? After much pain, sometimes death or a wedding, other times the stage just gets cleared. All right, um, I'm gonna read a poem that's a little bit longer um, and it has a chorus. Um, it's called Astro Love, Harmony of the Worlds. Um, and I wrote it for a powder keg magazine uh, special issue on the films of Carl Sagan and my episode was Harmony of the Worlds. Um, and then Astro Love is the name of a segment that my friend Lauren and I used to have on our podcast called The Real Housewives of Bohemia, um, where we would talk about astrology. Um, that segment was called Astro Love. So those are together in the title. Um, and I guess the whole poem is sort of trying to figure out um, what the difference between astronomy and astrology is, or whether there is a difference between those things. Um, so besides being a book about the internet, this is also a book about magic and um, the occult. Um, and technology comes into this poem too, so they're kind of coming together here. So Astro Love, Harmony of the Worlds. As for whether I'm an astronomer or astrologer, I come from a time when there was no difference. And I've been around long enough to see all the ways to kill witches, including rock drowning, stake burning, clean beheading, botched beheading, and most ruthless of all, the smothering of memory so the things our bones know get shut up for good. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. That's why groups of girls are dangerous, are always covenish, because we say, neither astronomy nor astrology, curtsy, dedicated to astro love in all its forms, pinkies out, eye of newt and scroll of blog, stir. Because in a circle of belief, we come to find what we already know. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. As for whether I read the stars to divine the future or improve modern civilization, just lie next to me for a while and stare at the sky. I deleted my stargazer app after the position of the sun under my feet through the hill and the earth's core gave me such a scare. I preferred my human tools after all. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. A certain degree of superstition I've always allowed. Wishing, clenching, blinking, flipping a light switch. What I don't know minus what I believe. Spring and sunrise returning again and again, though we're the ones spinning. What superstition but faith, but a tango with late winter ending in a bloody kiss. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. 
if we could believe in a world like this, might as well wish for another. The old rituals ripped from their targets, so we fill the gap with names of disorders. As for whether I'm an astronomer or astrologer, don't try and tell me about stars as they really are. I've felt my dwarfed will poised where the void doesn't end. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. As for weather, I have always known how to make one thing stand for another. I've lain on my back and used my hands and eyes to trace pictures in the sky, to guess at the future like any other instrument inside some other dimension's black hole. That such a dark life could be ruled by such bright stars. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. Planets falling toward the sun. Girl, you better run, run, run. All right. Um, so the next one I'm going to read is called um, Reproductive Logic. And this is a poem about um, being in your 30s as a woman and not having children. Um, reproductive Logic. I think my parents are in town but I haven't heard anything yet. It is a giant city with a drooling maw. They're probably smiling and squeaking toys in a faraway burrow. I start to suspect that I'm not really part of the family, that the way you get invited to the family is by having a family of your own. I am in my pajamas with the cats. By the logic of reproduction, I am the cat's pajamas. It's true what they say. You can defer being a real person indefinitely. Every day I type my sentences and take my walks and my simple meals with wine. Every night I assert my rights. The women who tell me their husbands are their kids. The women up all night strolling the day away. A while back I received an itinerary. Today, it's easy to feel assured the flight has landed. By the logic of families, I am the errant son. As the princess in the tower, I am obliged to wave a pink scarf occasionally and with desperation. Last night, I pulled the death card for future and shuddered as I thought, it's coming for us all, have your babies. I'll raise this solitude like a foundling. By tonight, someone will have accused me of not showing up. Um, thanks, Heather. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. So the last poem I'm going to read is um, something I wrote in April. Um, I always try to write 30 poems in April for um, Napo Rimo. Um, and this is one of the last ones that I wrote. So it doesn't really have a real title yet. Um, I just was calling them all crisis mode number something. So this is crisis mode number 24. Um, and it's based on true events. <laughs> okay. Crisis mode number 24. Everything there is to tell now seems to be either pheasant, grackle, meadowlark, or red winged blackbird or how the path mowed through the prairie takes you to the interstate's oversized loads. The golden arches hooked to the red come and go, a flag upon this moon. When I said, here lies Herbert Hoover, catching the H's in my throat like a transatlantic villainess, you shushed me. As if there were guards or gods around. Only trucks, birds, a woman with a strapped in baby walking the circle drive. When we got to the park, it was a trailer park. You waved at the locals, but they just stared back. I wondered if they were standing six feet apart or just being men. 
At the quarry, we wondered how long the rusted PBR cans had been piled in their little cave. They had tabs the same shape as the ones our dads had given us sips from, so they were as old as we were, over the hill, under the quarry. We were becoming foragers, yanking garlic mustard by the root. Invasive species pesto was something we could do for nature and for ourselves. The Texas governor was saying, there are more important things than living. I was saying, guess what time it is? And only 10 minutes had passed again. We were both wrong. I was asking everyone the same question until I figured out what I was trying to say. You said underneath daily life is music, the contemplative mode, the soul, and under that plants, childhood, and time. So little novelty that we're finally hearing what is. At the historic corner store, it was six at a time and wear a face covering, but otherwise it was the same, loud old jazz and liquor lining the walls. Why did I take so long to come back, I wondered, taking my time choosing wines and the butteriest cheese in the Midwest. A Mrs. Dalloway feeling, an American frisson of vast selection. Or ye old time warp, Hoover is president, sipping beer from a tin can, but only 10 minutes have passed. I never shop with a list, I just bring my cravings. You waited in the car, reading the liner notes to a shitty Lou Reed album, which is what you do, you said, when you wait for me. Will we walk all night through solitary streets? All the signs now point one way. Thank you.